Okay, Achset Skinatani, pleasant morning. It is just past 8 o'clock in the a.m. on Thursday, August 9th, 2018, in the last part of the lunar cycle, Okonokist Otsitsit, when the Saskatoon berries ripen. And we're starting off the morning a little bit different today. No skunks, but snakes. Um, there's a large rattlesnake reported just off the side of the road in the main drag going into the canyons. Hopefully it hasn't been hit, but it doesn't sound like it. The caller suggested that uh, it's perfectly fine, it's, but it's right next to the road. So um, in the 10, 15 minutes that, that uh, between the time that she called and the time I'm out here, who knows what's happened. So hopefully we're gonna find a live snake and get it out of the danger zone. Okay, so here's the situation. We got another dead, mature snake. Um, not sure whether he got bumped on the road or whether he got bumped by the lawnmower because it's obviously just recently been mowed here along this strip. Even have, you know, grass trimmings still here and so he got he got knocked by something and it is a, a mature male and uh, I kind of looked at this pattern break here this uh, this two two dot then three lines then a dot then two lines then this dot this kind of break here it's pretty distinct so I quickly look back through my photos just from this year to see if I've moved it recently and sure enough um, this is the snake that I ended up calling Dave and uh, that I last that I last encountered on July 6th um, and at that point I moved him into the kind of area between the canyons and Riverstone because he had turned up in Riverstone um, before that I had encountered this snake last year on July 12th and he was in he was in the, the canyons over here and um, I brought him to Upper Popson Den so maybe he's trying to get back to Upper Popson Den because we're near to that area Riverstone's a long ways away where I dropped him off this last time so You know, this is what I this is what I talk about too when people ask me about you know why don't you just relocate the take the rattlesnakes away um, from where they're found is because they'll spend the rest of the summer trying to get back home. So I probably moved him to the wrong spot um, because he showed up toward Riverstone and now he's making his way back. But um, one way or another got himself clipped along the way too many too many human obstacles to cross country on the top of the uh, coolie rim these days so yeah another another deceased snake don't know if there's any further kind of evidence of what happened no it's no not obvious it's not obvious what happened, so there's no cut marks or anything from lawnmower blades, but he's definitely got whacked. Well, leaving Dave's carcass back there in the coolies for the magpies and coyotes, I'm now on my way across the river to a condominium complex where they have trapped a skunk, and they would like me to relocate that animal, so I'm on my way. Hey there, little skunk. You ready to go for a ride with me? Got Skunky in the back seat here and another snake call to run to. This one is going to be on the north side of town. It sounds like a resident there has a bull snake that is underneath her stairwell. And um, I told her in those kind of cases, most of the time, if it's under a concrete pad, um, 
there's nothing to do but wait till it comes out to bask. Uh, I told her the bull snake is non-venomous, so it's not a danger to anybody, but she really wants me to come take a look and see if I can access it now. So I'll do that, and uh, we'll see. Hi. Hello. So he's around the back. I smell okay. smoke. Yeah, that's because I picked up a skunk. Oh, that's he's, he's still in my car. Oh, <laughs> wow. If you want to go around the back, I'll meet you there. Sure. Is this the pad? Uh, yeah, that's the pad. <laughs> okay. Can you see under? Yeah. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can access him. I'm just gonna go up there because I'm. Sure. <laughs> You last saw him when? Yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's, good news is he's not around. <laughs> oh, he's left? Yeah, he's not in there. So do they come back to their normal, to a, the same spot, or? Um, yeah, he might come visit it again. But uh, bull, bull snakes, you know, unless he's got a good food source right here, he's not going to stick around too long. Oh, okay. And then with the dogs, maybe. The dogs? Yeah, I have two dogs. Oh, yeah, no, he won't be interested in them. Something like um, ground squirrels. Oh no, there's nothing like that here. He's got no business. Yeah. Yeah, he's not under there that I can tell. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Spray me good. Oh, he's so mad. He's so mad. Taking off now. Had enough. <laughs> yeah, that skunk came pretty close to getting me. <laughs> I forgot my. Sh I set down the trap and and I set down the uh, the tarp with it, so I didn't have my shield. <laughs> made me scream um, got another skunk call already so this one's way out on the other side of town in a rural area so uh, somebody's got it trapped I'm gonna go pick that one up hey there skunky starting to get hot hey oh I know Oh no. I'm gonna take you away. Yup. Gonna go for a ride.
Why not? 